a graph has been given to you by looking at the graph you can see that this is undirected graph there is no direction pointing towards any of the node total number of nodes you have is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 8 so total number of nodes you have is 8 and now calculate the ages ages are nothing but the lines connecting two nodes so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so total number of ages you have is 10 now we will be calculating degree distribution for the given graph for node a there is only one edge passing from node a so the degree distribution of node a will be 1 check out for node b for node b you have 1 2 and 3 edges so for degree of node b will be 3 node c 1 and 2 similarly for node d you have 1 and 2 and 3 node e 1 2 3 4 and 5 in this way we have calculated the number of edges passing through each and every node so based on this degree distribution will be plotting the graph now check out how many number of nodes you have or how many degrees you have for distribution 1 node a and node f so you have two nodes for degree 1 so just plot it here then check out for degree distribution 2 you have c and h again here also you have two degree distribution then check out for 3 3 you have for b d and g that is 3 plot it then for 4 you do not have any of the node for 5 you have e that is a single node so plot it for the single node so this is how you will be plotting the graph for degree distribution next point will be calculating degree centrality in order to calculate degree centrality we have the formula cd of i is equal to d of i upon n minus 1 here n represents number of nodes now we'll be calculating this for each and every node let us calculate degree centrality for each and every node for node a the degree distribution is 1 so 1 upon n minus 1 that is total number of nodes minus 1 8 minus 1 is 7 1 by 7 is 0.142 then for node b degree distribution is 3 3 by 7 it is 0.428 in the same way calculated for c d e and remaining nodes if you calculate degree centrality for each and every node you can see that for the node e you have the highest value that is 0.714 therefore node e has highest degree centrality so based on degree distribution you will be calculating degree centrality in the similar me will be calculating closeness centrality in order to calculate closeness centrality we have the formula cc of i is equal to n minus 1 upon summation of j runs from 1 to n d of i j this d of i j represents the shortest path to that node now check out for the node a for node a check out for the shortest path from each and every node from b you have only one so we have written one over here from node c you have the path c to b and b to a that is one and two two edges you have over here then from node d from d you can go b to d to b 
and b to a that is 1 and 2 so again we have written 2 over here then e from e you can have either d b a or c b a both are the shortest path because both consist of three ages so we have written here three then f from f you have e c b a or e d b a that is it consists of four nodes so we have four ages so we have written four over here e f f we have done then g g you have e c b a or e d b a all consists of three ages so we have written three over here for h uh, for g and for h also e, e d b a or e c b a that consists of four ages so we have written four over here so n minus 1 upon summation of shortest path to that node so 7 upon whatever is the summation of this it consists of 0 0.368 in the same way you can calculate it for node b if you consist of node b from starting from node a a to b is just a single age so we have written one over here then from c c to b is again single age we have written one over here then d d to b is again one so we have written one over here then e e you can traverse from either d b or c b both consist of two ages so we have written two over here in the same way we'll be calculating for each and every node we will be considering the shortest path and we'll be calculating each and every node over here then seven divided by summation of all this uh, if you can check out over here for node E you have 0.7 then for node C you have 0.583 node D 0.636 F G H if you compare all the closeness centrality for each and every node you can see that for node E you have the maximum value that is 0.7 therefore node E has highest closeness centrality this is how for the given graph we will be calculating degree centrality and closeness centrality. Now in order to calculate the click, C -L -I -Q -U -E, click for the given graph, consider the triangles in the given graph. We have this triangle E G H, this is one triangle, consider the second triangle E D G both the triangles have size 3 so the largest click here is of size 3 and how many clicks total you have for the given graph you have only 2 clicks these are the 2 clicks that is 2 triangles so 2 clicks you have for the given graph in the given graph every node is connected with every another node that is each and every node has a connected component therefore this is one connected component graph suppose this graph is in this way a to b to c e d F and here you have H and G. So this is the first component, this is the second component. So if this is a graph considered, then this is two connected component graph. Here every node is connected to each and every other node. That is why it is one connected component graph. Here there is a disconnection in between these two. So this is two connected component graph. Now based on this degree distribution you can see that node E has maximum degree distribution that is it is called as hub, hub network because it has many nodes connected to it. You can see for 
node e you have d c h f g many nodes are connected to it and it allows the creation of paths to reach all the points in the network so that is why this node e is called as a hub network hub network is node e now we'll be drawing the ego network for this one centric ego network uh we'll be drawing ego network for this node g first consider node g and draw the graph with respect to node g okay so we have drawn this a graph with respect to node g now this is one centric ego network we'll be converting it into 1.5 centric ego network what is 1.5 ego centric network that is whichever node we have considered will be removing that node and will be drawing the graph so once we remove this node g whatever remains will draw that h e and d this has no connection with e whichever are the connections with respect to e just delete it and draw the graph this is called as 1.5 ego centric network this was for node g we'll consider one more we'll draw it for node e something because e has maximum number of paths to reach each and every node so we'll draw it for node e firstly we'll draw one centric network and then 1.5 centric network for node e so these are the possible nodes which are connected to node e this is one centric ego network for node e now we'll be converting this to 1.5 centric ego network for node e for that we'll be removing the main node that is node e so once we remove the node e whatever remains that we are going to draw remove the connections also with respect to node e so what remains is this that is 1.5 centric ego network for node e now if you observe this graph you have two singletons in this ego network see node f and node c these are the two singletons in this ego network if you consider the above graph how many nodes you have you have just a single that is one singleton in this node for ego network so this is how we'll be drawing one centric and 1.5 centric ego networks